Hi, my name is Amar Ahmed. I'm a principal engineer at Verizon. I support various efforts related to Verizon Labs internal cloud platform. We work with diverse set of application developers to help them architect and design their application for our cloud platform. We also provide support for application onboarding. Hello, I am Sandil Raghavan, distinguished member of Verizon Labs technical staff. My focus is leading scalable solutions for advanced server components, serving digital setup boxes, C devices, and mobile clients, primarily using Microsoft tools and technologies. Verizon Labs cloud platform aids us in efficiently managing hardware resources, support for scale on demand, thereby guaranteeing high availability of our backend services to meet our architecture goals. And today we're excited to share with you some of the things we're developing at Ryzen Labs. For today's discussion, we'll start off with a quick overview of our Ryzen Labs cloud platform. From there, we'll also cover one of our .NET mobile applications, which benefits from our platform, as well as Microsoft's open source strategy. At the end, we'll also have a small demo showcasing how we have taken an existing .NET application and ported it to the new containerized execution environment. With that said, let's begin with a quick overview of Verizon Lab Cloud Platform. The platform is built with key objective of enabling rapid innovation. Our cloud platform is built as an open architecture. It comprises of the best and the latest open source building blocks. The platform foundation is built on proven open source technologies, such as the Linux operating system. It also uses Apache Mesos powered cluster uh, for managing the platform environment. Additionally, we use software-defined networks, software-defined storage, and system-wide automation to maximize creativity and efficiency on the platform. The platform supports containerized workloads. Containerized workloads lend themselves better to microservices architectures. Microservices architectures are key to allow smaller teams to innovate independently and quickly evolve solutions without breaking complex systems that exist today. In an environment driven by continuous advances in technologies, rapid prototyping, and short cycles for time to market are key factors in, customer, in meeting customers and product requirements. Ryzen Labs has built a platform that enables just that. Use of Apache Mesos as our resource manager allows us to scale to thousands of nodes with minimal effort required for the scaling. The application architecture abstracts all the individual components and manages them as a single pool of resource. This allows us to efficiently manage the data center by reducing the complexity associated with managing each individual component separately. As an application requires resources, it requests resources based on a particular set of requirements. These requirements are checked against the current state of the data center, and resource offers are made accordingly. The resource manager, in concert with the application scheduler, then schedules individual application tasks on resources that best meet their requirement. This allows us to best place the application in the data center and have the most efficient use of the resources within it. Impacts to applications because of the hardware failures are also mitigated because of the abstraction of resources and automating application placement. Additionally, any hardware failure and performance degradation immediately trigger replacement of the application on other available resources. Application elasticity is a must to meet today's changes in demand. Scaling the applications on the platform can be performed without any advanced reservations or dedicated resources. Given containerized execution of the workload, additional instances can be set up very rapidly. This allows the application to scale up and down along with its demand without any delay. Verizon recently performed a demo where 50,000 application containers were launched in mere 72 seconds, utilizing only parts of the data center. This is about 700 plus new containers per second. On this platform, the applications are no longer tied to the hardware and thus no longer share its fate. Applications are more fault tolerant as they are not tied to specific hardware. In case of any hardware failures, applications are dynamically replaced on other available resources without any triggers from the application or their administrators. Operating the entire data center as a single resource pool and automating application scheduling makes the most efficient use of resources within the data center. The ability to run .NET application as containerized workloads helps leverage existing development and maintain heterogeneous environment. Enabling cross-platform support for application keeps in check costs associated with retooling 
and retraining traditionally required for transitioning from one environment to another. And now I'm going to turn it over to Suntel, who will go over Verizon Fios TV services application. Hi, uh, we'll be taking a look at the Fios TV data services uh, overview. Consumers today have high expectation for their digital lives and expect immediate results. Our architecture is designed to empower this expectation to ensure our services are delivered quickly, mainly using caching, data compression, and reduced round trip. Fault tolerant also we use today as part of our architecture. The consumer data is centralized in the cloud, thereby serving Fios TV content across different consumer devices like set-up boxes, Xbox, tablets, smartphones, and so on. Focus on scalable solutions with commitment to seamlessly discover, watch, and manage content is our prime focus, and our application goal is to support personalization, entertainment, engagement, and control of Fios TV contents. Now we'll be taking a look at the high-level architecture of Fios TV service. And here we practice microservices architecture where services are organized around capabilities such as user interface front-end, logistic, billing, etc. Data is served via web APIs, file downloads, and so on. Microsoft Visual Studio offers flexibility for our heterogeneous environment. .NET Portability Analyzer tool provides recommendation. We did customize it by integrating it as part of our, our CI process. With Verizon Labs already using .NET in other areas, we are able to extend our skills and bring .NET to other areas of the business. With .NET Core and ASP.NET 5, we are now able to consolidate all our development both for Windows and Linux in our framework and language our developers love. Now I want to jump into a demo which will show the dashboard application on Fios Mobile followed by Verizon Cloud demonstration. Let's take a look at it. Here I'm, sure I'm going to show you a sample project uh, wherein uh, we used to build this uh, demo for you. Uh, so the, it was a new project of uh, type like website, and you have the options here, and uh, we pick like uh, ASP.NET website. And if you see like Microsoft has uh, changed a little bit some structures uh, uh, from the traditional ASP.NET to ASP.NET 5, uh, just because uh, to streamline the uh, request pipeline uh, to your choice, as well as uh, to make the web uh, uh, lightweight, uh, along with the more modularization uh, at our end. Uh, here is a sample uh, project.json, uh, which Microsoft bundles along with this uh, project. Uh, you will see like packages and so on here, and certain commands for you to run your application on the Kestrel, which is the web server on Linux that Microsoft runs today. Uh, there are uh, several other things uh, which we can uh, explore and uh, uh, add to this file. And also, I want to emphasize on the startup, uh, where you have a concept, concept of middleware. And middleware uh, helps us like to uh, streamline your uh, request pipeline so you can keep adding uh, things uh, that the way you want to control your uh, uh, request uh, workflow. And finally, I just want to give you a heads up on uh, just uh, every .NET developer who's transitioning to .NET Core and cross-platform development uh, needs to understand uh, some uh, uh, commands and uh, need to understand uh, certain things about Dockerfile, which is our responsibility. And here is a sample Dockerfile uh, just for a quick reference. So we, uh, we will now switch to like porting this application into Verizon uh, Cloud's uh, lab. Now we'll go ahead and take the application Centel has just built and deploy this on our platform. We just issued the command to launch the application. As you can tell by the dashboard, the application is already running and servicing the request. Today uh, we'll show, we are showing the demo on the uh, Fios mobile app. Uh, just before you saw how to like port this application using Visual Studio, and then we used our Docker tools to port the uh, Docker image into the cloud. And here is the dashboard uh, screen of Fios Mobile App, uh, which is now coming from a cloud-based Docker container. 
and you see like uh, the contents uh, business as usual what the customer sees on our fires mobile app transforming our business critical labs for future growth and verizon labs cloud platform along with .NET Core and ASP.NET 5, enables us to build cross-platform application taking advantage of open source strategy. Developer satisfaction as they use .NET to target new scenarios and their career is expanded. Quick and easy to learn, rapid application development as usual with powerful built-in tools of the IDE. New product and services by utilizing .NET Core and ASP.NET to successfully execute this solution means Verizon has created a center of innovation that will be the foundation of all their software development. We have been able to reduce costs and build scalable architecture. Thanks for watching. Hope this video will help you in your day-to-day -day development work.